Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020-2021 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. Four box, random team break number four. Brand new release, just dropped today. One spot, we sold ten spots, so one spot gets you three teams in the NHL. We comboed up Winnipeg and Anaheim. Uh, no vet commons chip, and we're looking for, this is basically what we're looking for, young guns right here. Like this guy. So that's what we're doing. Big thanks to everyone here. We're going to triple those names up. There's the combo, Ducks-Jets combo. Comboed up right there. And let's roll it, randomize it. Six and a three, nine times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Kip, no, actually, we've not been asked that too, too often. Nicholas down to Spiro. I think if we go to the national, it it's not going to be. It's not like we're setting up a huge table and uh, and breaking. You know what I mean? We've done that before, and it's just the production cost to go on tour is a lot. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. After nine times, we've got the Rangers down to the Sharks. Um, so, if anything, I think we may. I think maybe Nick might go. Nick or a couple of Nick and maybe the boss man might go for a few days just to maybe say hi to his network with some people and say hi to people and maybe do some do some deals. Nick can buy some cards for hit packs and future re Jaspi releases. Nicholas with the Rangers, Spear with the Knights, G with the Coyotes, Sean with the Kings, Jens with the Ducks, Jets, Nicholas with the Stars, Preds. GT with the Chicago Blackhawks, Sean with the Wild, Eric with the Bruins, Sean with the Avs, Karen with the Panthers, Spear with the Caps and the Blue Jackets, Eric with the Devils and the Sabres. I think this is Eric's first raid. Welcome. Nicholas with the Islanders, Senators, Spiro with the Hurricanes, Nicholas with the Blues, GT with the Penguins, Spiro with the Canucks, Sean with the Flames, Jens with the Oilers and Flyers, Sean with the Red Wings, Karen with the Blue Jackets. Blue Jackets? No, that's a blue team, but the Toronto Maple Leafs. Sean with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Karen with the Canadians and Spiro with the San Jose Sharks. Uh, let's get all this on one page. Let's sort by column B. Now, we'll give you a little trade window. And while you're considering a trade, let's pop this fresh case open and let's see which four boxes we're going to do. But yeah, so I think the days of us group breaking at the National are. Uh, are not going to happen, at least not not in the near future. I can't, I can't say never, because I don't know. Unless we get invited there by like maybe Tops or Upper Deck or Panini could invite us and say, hey, we want you to, we want to, we'll fly you out here, Joe or Nick or Jason or whoever, if you want to break for for us. Dis display some new product or something like that we'll, we'll do that but in terms of us taking the gear and our shipping team all out there yeah. one two three four five six three one two three four so we'll do those middle four box right here and these will save for next time I think I may just go just to go if, if we have we've got some of our team going then I may go just to tag along Maybe take some vacation time. Because it's kind of crazy because uh, of all the times we've been to the National, like I've never got to really experience it because um, we, we were working all the time. So maybe this year I can actually, actually have fun there and hang out. All right, I'm Joe. We're going to pause the video for the trade window when we come back. We'll, uh, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have this four box break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done, so that list that you saw on the previous screen remains the same. Thanks, everyone, for getting in and making it happen. All right, and here's the four boxes we selected right here. All right. Young Guns is really the big thing that we're chasing. Could there be autos and stuff here? 
You know, low numbered patch parallels is what we're looking for. All right, so let's see what happens. Actually, I think I need a different container for this. Deck always puts an extra little sticker right there. Box number one. So J Dog found some retail, some some hard to find retail boxes at a store that you wouldn't think had sports cards. Where? You know, Arthur Peru said a while back that he found, like, I forget what he found. He he found like uh, something, maybe tops. Some top series one set or something like that. He said he found some at a. Uh... I'm making sure I want to make sure I say this right. I think the, these places do have gift shops, right? Yeah, um, at a uh, Cracker Barrel restaurant, and apparently those restaurants. I don't think I've ever been to one. Has a. Uh has a gift shop there and that particular gift shop was selling sports cards and he was like I, I stumbled into like some nice a, a nice a decent set that I've not seen that's impossible to find I want to say Rex found mosaic basketball cello packs at a uh, at a gas station at a big five so, yeah, maybe I, maybe I have to check those spots as well. Wow. Kip is saying Target has a virtual line now that texts you when it's your turn to buy cards. That's how, that's how crazy it's gotten, folks. So check your big fives, your gas stations, cracker barrels, and get in virtual line at Target if you want to snag retail at retail prices. Wait, you have to get there at 7 to get on the list? Wow. Wild. All right, let's go through these. I guess we'll do a left-right randomizer for those. There's some young guns right there. I think that's the main chase, right? These young guns, nice acetate young guns. Award winners, Kale McCarr, he's a winner. Ganon Dupree. There's Ty Smith. Young Guns for the, what, you're a devil, right? Yeah, this devil right here going Eric Victoria with the Ty Smith Young Guns. And for the Islanders, Ilya uh, Sororkin. And that will be for Nicholas L. and the Islanders. Young Guns Canvas, Martine Kaut for the Avs. That, that'll be for Sean. There you go. And that's, of course, Alexis Lafreniere for the Rangers. Even I know that guy, Nicholas L. Um, I think Nick is going to post that sh uh, shortly, soon, at some point tonight. The filler for Panini One. Just wanted to see what 
see what Jason was leaving up. So yeah, so we're gonna do the marquee rookies, the Dazzlers, the Young Guns, Canvas Young Guns, of course. And then here are the, these are the French variations right here. That's for Florida. That's going to go to Karen. Now, folks, my hockey knowledge is not very strong, so you're going to have to tell me if any of these guys are, like, big names. foot for Tampa Bay. That'll be for Sean. Alex Bell Zeal for Montreal. That'll be for Karen. This is Darren Radish. Radish? Yanni Hakanapa. That'll be for Anaheim. That's for Jens and the Ducks Winnipeg combo. And Darren is going to go to the Rangers. That'll be for Nicholas L. And this looks pretty cool right here. What is it? MVP prospects? It's a cool die cut. 211 out of 250. That's uh, Alexander Truitt. That is for San Jose. That's going to go to Spiro. There's Matt Dumba. I guess these are award winners cards. I'm looking for the marquee rookies. There's a marquee rookie, Ryan McLeod. For the Oilers, Edmonton. Yens with the Oilers. There's Anders Lee, upper deck canvas, and a Jack Hughes. Dazzlers. Alex Ovechkin, canvas. And the next box. And this will represent the left-right randomizers. All right. Next box. Got sounds of a little basketball on in the background. The Celtics are in Milwaukee. Milwaukee up 65-53. Wonder if the Celtics are gonna make some moves in the trade window. It could be possible. Wait, so Jose, so you and your son had a binge night of ripping some packs last night. So what was the product? What I mean I think I missed that. What what did what did you get? Did you get anything cool out of there? The Kings are playing tonight. I'm trying to watch a little more hockey. Kings are in in San Jose. I guess the Edmonton-Montreal game was postponed. Minnesota beat the Ducks 3-2. Ottawa beat the Calgary Flames 3-1. Pittsburgh is up 2-0 right now on Buffalo. Right, and the Habs games are postponed through Sunday due to the virus. And I guess the crazy news would be the NHL ref. Everyone, everyone, see this? I, I didn't see the video until until just recently on SportsCenter a couple hours ago. That was crazy. Referee Tim Peel will not work another game in the NHL after getting caught saying.
He wanted to give the Nashville Predators a penalty in their win over the Detroit Red Wings on Tuesday night. NHL Senior, Execu Senior Executive Vice President of Hockey Operations Colin Campbell made the announcement Wednesday morning saying that Pe Peel would no longer be working NHL games now or in the future. Peel, 53, was due to retire after this season, so he didn't really care, I guess. He just said F it. <laughs> and been an on-ice official since October of 1999. And refereed 1,334 games. Maybe he just wanted to retire early. With 15 minutes left in the second period, Preds forwarder Victor Arvidsson was called for tripping Red Wings defenseman John Merrill in the offensive zone, even though replays showed that Merrill embellished his fall to help draw the call. Peel made the penalty call from around center ice. With 12.42 remaining in the second period, the National Broadcast captured audio from Peel saying, it wasn't much, but I wanted to get a effing penalty against Nashville early. Nashville won the game 2-1. Both teams were whistled for three penalties, but the Preds took a fourth for putting the puck over the glass in the third period. Peel has been one of the, I, this I did not know, Peel has been one of the NHL's most maligned officials with fans using social media to critique his calls through the years. In 2015, Peel was removed from officiating New Jersey Devils home game after being photographed at a bar drinking with a reporter. Editors note the reporter was ESPN's Greg... Wyshynski, the writer of this piece. Interesting. All right, next box, more young guns. Let's go. There's marquee rookie Steven Lorenz. That's for Carolina. That's going to go to Spiro. There's Ty Smith, Young Guns, for New Jersey. That's going to be for Eric Victoria. There's Rookie Portraits, Ryan McLeod. we got Philippe uh, de Rosiers for the Florida. That'll be for Karen from the Panthers. Ryan McLeod will go to Edmonton. That's going to be for Jens. We got Victor Hedman, upper deck canvas for the Lightning. Steven Lorenz, Young Guns for Carolina. Once again, another, another one for Spiro. We got rookie materials, Alexi Lafreniere. And that'll be for the New York Rangers. Now, if I remember correctly, some people were saying that he kind of started off the season slow, but where, where is he Where is he at now? Do, do we like him now? People were, were a little bummed. This was the feedback I was getting. Anthony Angelo, rookie portraits. We got marquee rookies, Philip Broberg. Broberg going to Edmonton. That'll be for Jens. Jens is hoping that Aaron Gordon goes to the Celtics. That could be a nice move for the Celtics. And there's a Young Guns canvas, John Leonard for the Sharks. Spiro with San Jose. No, one one six is saying he's the he's the worst number one pick ever. That's it. the 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 book is the book is closed on Lafreniere. There's Calvin Calvin Thurkoff for Columbus. That'll be for Spiro. There's Marquee rookies. Got Ali Ulevi. Oli goes to Vancouver, Spiro, with that one. And this is Braden Burke, marquee rookies, going to GT and the Coyotes. Marquee rookies, Emil Larmy. And we've got Dougie Hamilton, Canvas, and a Timothy Liljurgen, Jegren. 
with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Karen with that one. What photo is the variation? Aren't there, these are all photos, aren't they? Mark, you rookies, Pierre, uh, Olivier, Joseph. GT. Are you talking about the one where he's not in his hockey uniform? Is that a variation? Like this? This is for Tampa Bay. That'll be for Sean. No, you do not get all the cards that I go through. Veteran Commons, as it clearly states in the description, right, will not ship. So these guys aren't going to ship. Connor Ingram, marquee rookies, they do ship. Because it's an insert, it's a rookie. So these aren't shipping. Young Guns ship. Portraits ship. Young Guns ship. These do not ship. That will ship because it's an insert, even though it's a veteran. And those do not ship. So only rookies, inserts, numbered cards, relics, they will go. The cards in their suits are all variations. Okay, I don't think I noticed anything, any in the first box. But okay, good to know. All right, so more Young Guns right there and the next box. another 15 minutes or so to go here. So Spiro is saying 116's reaction that he's the worst number one pick ever is a little drastic. So maybe somewhere in between. I mean, how old is he? He still has to be super young, right? Might be a little, little harsh to judge him now. 19 years old, playing with grown men in the NHL. Yeah, I thought, yeah, he's a kid and needs some time to Spiro. Yeah, I thought I thought kids his age, I thought they go into, like, whatever the, their minor league system, the hockey's minor league system is. I thought they would marinate there for a year or two before they call him up. Matt, what's up? Anything big out of the Immaculate Soccer case yet? Not to my knowledge. I would double check the videos, but some nice stuff, but like, if you're talking like one of ones or Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo autographs, stuff like that, no, I don't. I feel like nothing of that caliber. In fact, I think there's soccer action happening too. Isn't there like 
Typically they do that, but with him they kind of threw him to the fire because they can't handle it. He's still getting his legs in. Okay. Well, so he's just got to marinate a little bit. It's all good. There's Ty Smith, Young Guns for New Jersey. And here's an acetate card right here, Miko Ritanian. So obviously stuff like this will ship. So that's for uh, Colorado, that's for Sean. I don't think that's numbered, but the acetate does look pretty cool. Ty Smith, once again, for New Jersey. That'll be for Eric. Marquee rookies, Philip Broberg. Matthew Barzal, Upper Deck Canvas, Saddle Ship, of course, it's an insert. Marquee Rookie, Stephen Lorenz, Carolina, Spiro. We got Mackenzie uh, Entwistle, Young Guns for Chicago, that's going to go to GT. Rookie portraits right there. Vitek Benetic for Washington. That's going to go to Spiro. And the Chase Prisky will go to the Florida Panthers, Karen. With that one. Oh, no worries. No worries. J Dog, your YouTube was lagging behind. Oh, you, you found. Oh, that's right. That's right. You found, you found the hoops. Basketball. And you were. La you got two Lamellos. Oh, nice. That's not bad. Slam Hall, Kawhi, and Luke, and a bunch of... All right, all right. That's a good haul. There's Mitch Marner. David Case for the Flyers. That'll be for Jens and Philadelphia. And out of 250, more MVP prospects. That is Tim Stutzel. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Stutzel. For Ottawa... That die cut is going to go to Nicholas. Marquee rookies, Joseph Wall. For Toronto. Be for Karen. Nick Robertson for Toronto. Marquee rookies for the Penguins. That'll be for GT. And Shea Theodore, Dazzlers. There you go. That'll be for Vegas. That's going to go to Spiro, the Golden Knights. Nice. There you go. He's got some Anthony Edwards, some Halliburton's in there, says Jose. Sleeving everything right now while watching Jaspies. Nice. Marquee Rookies, that's Alexander Alexeyev, Alexeyev, I'm going to go with that, there you go, nice, that'll be for Washington Spiro with the Caps, Miko Mikola, Young Guns, for St. Louis, that's for me for Nicholas, I've got Emil Larmy, Penguins, Jalen Chatfield for Vancouver. It's going to go to Spiro. Young Guns. Chris Pronger, Canvas. Marquee Rookies, Pierre Olivier Joseph. That's once again for Pittsburgh for GT. All right, final box.
We had some FIFA World Cup qualifying today as well. Turkey beat the Netherlands. 4-2. Wow. Belgium beat Wales 3-1. Kevin De Bruyne with a goal. Romelu Lukaku with a goal for Belgium. Harry Wilson scored a goal for Wales. Anything else interesting here? Czechoslovakia beat Estonia, I think, 6-2. to two. And it uh, looks like Tomas Susek. Some of you may remember Tomas Susek from our Premier League breaks. Has a hat trick. Dust off your Tomas Suseks from those Prism Premier League breaks. Maybe we'll get some more of those in the near future. Antoine Greitzman scored a goal in a tie to the Ukraine, 1-1. One to one. Norway shut out a team. Gibraltar, I think, 3-0. I think no, no goals for Holland. No other names really jump out at me here. Going back to hockey, hockey fans, what are what are the what, give me some surprising teams? Teams that have performed above expectation. Who are those? Who are those teams? There has to be a team or two, right? That are like, hey, we we expected them to be towards the bottom of the of the standings. But now they're Vying for a playoff spot. Giannis for three? Good. Shoot another three, Giannis. Go for it. He does. Takes the shot. No, off the back of the rim. Man, if, if, if Giannis develops a, a fairly credible outside shot, that's going to be terrifying. How do you stop the guy? He'd be unstoppable, is what he'd be. All right, final box here. Four box. Random Team 4, the brand new 2021 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. Thanks everyone for getting in on the action. There's a marquee rookie, Alexi Lafreniere. Nice one for Montre no, uh, New York Rangers. That'll be for Nicholas L. Nice. There's Gilles Sen. Young Guns. <laughs> Any Emilio Estevez coach team would be a team that's performing above expectation. That is true. There's Nicholas Maloche. Young Guns, Sharks, Spiro, and Michael DiPetrio, Vancouver, and it'll be for Spiro. Marquee rookies, Connor McMichael. Marquee rookies, another Ranger, Vitaly Kravstov for Nicholas. Mikhail Berdine, marquee rookies. Really 
for Winnipeg. That's going to go to the combo Yens. We got Morgan Geeky. Nikola Kainzov. Young Guns Canvas Yegor. Sharon Govich. New Jersey Devils. That's going to be for Eric. There you go. Canvas Young Guns are pretty nice. This one will go to San Jose, Spiro. This goes to Carolina. That's going to go to Spiro as well. All right, last stack here. Ian Mitchell, Young Guns. A little Cam Atkinson acetate for Columbus. That's going to go to Spiro. Award winners insert, those ship too. Michael McNevin. Michael McNevin again. Both for Montreal, that'll be for Karen. And that's, I've been told, is a variation when they're in a suit. When they're suited and booted. And there's Jake Odinger for Dallas. It's going to be for Nicholas. Chicago, GT. And there's Miro Heiskanen also for Dallas. It'll be for Nicholas. So no, 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 there's no team that's been surprised. Everything's been pretty chalk. I think the Kings have been playing some good, good hockey, people are saying. Looks like they're a little ahead of schedule. There's Braden Point, Dazzlers for Tampa Bay. But they're a young team. Ziegor again, and that is that. That was four box, random team four. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Trey, what's going on, man? Thanks, everyone, for getting in on the action. And let's do that quick little randomizer here, left-right randomizers. And, of course, all those sleeved cards will be top-loaded before they're sorted and shipped. Let's flip back to this list here. Let's go left. Let's go right. And let's go dice roll. That'll be four and a five nine times. Side on top after nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ninth and final time. And it'll be all the left side cards for any of these uh, those checklist cards right there. So left side teams will get them. So there you have it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Eric saying my first break, not bad. Oh, you're a co-worker of Robert Thacker. Rob, thanks for recruiting. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.